Hi, I'm Ed from Wright, and today we're sitting in front of a standard ZK, and you'll see that this ZK looks a little bit different than what you may have seen. This ZK here is a Gen 3 ZK. I think that um, you know, we were one of the first folks to bring stand-on mowers into the market and develop uh, that whole notion, and the ZK uh, is a later model, and now it's even its third generation, and so um, it's very refined. Um, our approach to continuous improvement with our mowers is that progress is made through constantly changing many small things. So um, uh, Gen 2 ZK, when they first came out a while back, and the current ones that are um, in inventory, um, the current Gen 2s are actually much closer to Gen 3 than the, the first ones. But sometimes what we find is that there's changes that um, can't be done individually. They have to be done together at the same time. We make those kinds of changes is when we call it the next gen level. So you'll see that the ZK is not vastly different. We didn't break what we didn't, we didn't uh, fix anything that wasn't broken. Um, we just made some improvements. Uh, we also have heard feedback from a number of our customers that uh, they would like to see more premium features on the machine. So things like the pad or the guard in the front. Uh, we'll take a walk around here in a minute. Um, elevate uh, the capabilities of the ZK. Um, and part of that also is that the standard LG that came out last year um, is the value fleet machine that sits right below where the ZK sits. So a couple of these things elevate uh, where the ZK sits. Uh, it also means that the ZK uh, Gen 3 is a little bit higher priced than, than a ZK Gen 2. And so the, the uh, Gen 3 as it comes out, it's gonna be priced closer to the next year pri year's pricing. And the Gen 2s are actually on, on pretty good sale right now, very good deal on them. Um, and part of that's just because production has been able to uh, get them out um, more efficiently. And so um, there is a, pr a sizable price difference right now between a, a two and a three. Um, and there's pros and cons and a great reason to buy either one of them. Um, the other part of that price shift was that the Gen 3 ZK now is gonna be all EFI engines. This is a dedicated EFI chassis. If you want the carbureted engine, that's part of the value uh, machine that makes up what the LG is all about. LG is a high performing, uh, high value machine. ZK is high performance. Um, now, when we look at designing our mowers, we have this philosophy of it's always about your operating cost. We don't make consumer equipment. We're one of the few or maybe the only brands that only makes commercial mowers for mobile use. And um, what that means is that when we look at the mower, there's, there's sort of two things that happen through its life. One is that you have this depreciation cost and then you have this increasing operating cost of the machine over its life. And so we want to reduce your depreciation by making mowers that last longer and they break down less and you know they get tore, tore up less. Um, and then on the operating cost, you know, we look at every component on the machine like a belt drive and we want to be sure that that belt lasts longer. And we're looking at that belt in terms of dollars per an hour. How do we give you that improvement? So this machine over its life uh, is probably going to cut about 20,000 acres and it's probably going to cost about 110 grand to do that in terms of labor and fuel and repairs and maintenance and tires. Um, but you know, labor is your number one cost and so that's why the ZK is um, higher speed, lots of fuel capacity, bigger engines because that helps you reduce your labor cost. Um, so we have this approach where we make the mower the best it can be, and then we go back and we set the price. Our goal is not to make a mower for $9,999 and then strip it out until we can you know, affordably do that. What we're trying to do is give you the best machine that we can reasonably, and then we price it after that. And in the grand scheme of things, um, we're competing in a marketplace where the differences between mowers can be a couple hundred dollars here and there. But what really, really matters is that 110 grand to cut the 20,000 acres more than that $500 here and there. Um, so that's, that's our approach, giving you the, you know, the most profitable machine that we can give you. Um, let's take a walk around the machine here and I'll show you some of the features that um, align with that approach. So starting with the engine, we have the FX820 Evo engine. So this is a dedicated EFI only engine with a number of improvements. It has a similar architecture to the FX850, but it's a three valve engine, which um, increases the fuel efficiency and the torque um, and also the reliability. It's a little bit beefier engine and it comes with eight mounting bolts, which we love. Um, and the four outer holes are through bolts. Um, coming around this side, we have the bucket on the 61 and the 72 inch deck models. We have the bag that clips in here on the 52 inch deck because it has a narrower clearance in here. We added a, um, an additional spring to the deck lift. 
which just makes it easier to um, raise and lower the deck. Here we have um, an easier and quicker adjustment for the deck pitch. We have um, tie down loops like we'd have on the ZXT or ZXL off the side of the frame. Coming around this side, you can see that the, the deck here is a little bit different. It's an AeroCore deck, but it has a flat back. And the flat back deck is something that you'll see on the standard B style deck has it, uh, the ZXT and the ZXL has them. And the original chamfered deck, what it does is when the air column is spinning, the air expands as it goes around the trim side, creating more vacuum on the edge or in your other blades here, more vacuum in the area between the blades where you need it. But if you're cutting heavy, dense grass, um, it can take a little bit more power. Uh, the flat back is better at handling um, heavy grass, high volume of grass and mulching. Um, and because this is a bigger machine, it does more of that kind of work. We went with the flat back deck on the ZK3. The battery is just a tad lower. We've done a number of things with the hose and fuel routing, electrical routing, just to tighten up things um, and help improve uh, anything that could go wrong. Here you can see the pad now pops off. It has the standard LG style pad. It mounts up differently than the ZK2 pad. And um, back here you can see it's very similar. It's simplified a little bit. There's a little less going on. And um, one thing I'll point out here is these reservoirs, they're bigger now. So they're a little bit more slosh resistant. And the previous reservoir had two hoses going off the bottom, one to allow air to come up while the oil went down. Well, we now run that vent line to the top of the tank making your oil changes quicker and easier. Um, we're not going to get all done down underneath the machine today, uh, but one thing I'll just point out is that we moved where the idle arm sits, so it makes it much, much easier to quicker to replace the uh, hydro belt. Um, you can see the platform is a little bit different. It has uh, slanted edges here on the side, has a little bit more range, and has a little bit more parallel movement than pivoting movement. It still pivots, but just less, is, and so it has a, a cushier feel to it. The instrument panel, slightly different. A lot of this is because it's an EFI uh, only type model. So we have mill light, which gives us the status of the engine. There's the electronic throttle like a 40 horse um, unit would have today. We have a charge point port on here. and We have the newer style key switch. So you can see we've made a number of uh, general improvements to the machine. Some of them are had to go together. So for example, the flat back deck involved a change that was on the frame side. So we had make those two changes together as part of a gen change. And then when you look at things like the routing or electrical or whatnot, those are all things that had to happen all together at once. So a number of improvements and refinements. We also did a lot of things that um, I'm not getting detail on just right now, uh, where we made subtle improvements based on things that we saw either in warranty or that we heard from y'all or we saw in part sales. Uh, we're always working to make a better machine and reduce our part sales because every part um, as an indicator that you had a bad day. So um, as you can see, that's the ZK Gen 3. If you've got any questions, by all means, uh, put a comment. We'd love to answer your questions. Um, the ZK2 is on a promotion. It's actually a very good deal right now. And the ZK3 is not on that promotion. The ZK3 is priced closer to where we'll be for next model year. And so now's a great opportunity. Either pick up um, a value, real good value on a ZK2 or if you like the features that you're seeing here, you may have to wait a little bit, but um, wait for a ZK3. Um, so hope you have a good rest of your season.